Tom. This is Charlie Flo, World Sports Show here with U.S. Women's National Coach Tom Sermani. Well, thank you for joining me. Pleasure. Pleasure, Charlie. So you've been taking in a lot of these, these national games, the U.S. You know, Pro League games. How are you thinking about that league? What are your impressions of it? Um, very positive, to be honest. I've uh, been on a little bit of a road trip over the last nine or ten days. Um, after today, I've been to all the grounds except Seattle, and I'll be there uh, during the week, next week. And, um, you know, the standard of soccer has been, been high, the competitiveness of the games, which I expected has been intense. Um, and, and, you know, every team is competitive. So, so far, what I've seen has been very good. Yeah, we've talked about that before, a lot of people, that the games have been like one goal games. The game you saw Wednesday was a 1-1 draw, but just very tight. It makes you, you know, feel good that these teams are very evenly matched up. Yeah, everybody's in the game, you know, even the teams that maybe haven't picked up many points so far, you know, the, the losses have been very narrow and as I say, in each game, both teams have had opportunities to win the game. Now, are there any key players now that haven't put on the U.S. jerseys that's really popped out to you saying this player may, you know, be a next U.S. star for me, something you're, you're keying your eye on? Um, not, not as much as it's uh, appropriate probably to mention at yeah. the moment. There are a couple of players that I've seen that I think yeah. have done well. But in reality, I probably need to see a little bit more. Um, you know, and as the league settles in and, and players start to play, you know, 10, 12, 14 games, yeah. that's probably the time when you start to see if they've got that sort of quality to sustain, you know, the early season promise. Yeah. But certainly there's been a few players around that have caught my eye. Now this makes it a lot easier. I mean, years ago when there wasn't, you know, the professional league, and then there was the league, and then it folded. Is you'd be having to fly over Europe right now and scout these games. I mean, that must make it really easy to have a domestic product, and it makes it easier to expand the pool of play. Very much so. You know, if players are on hand and the players are getting the opportunity to play week in and week out, and the opportunity to play against national team players. You know, that's a, a, a real great measuring stick for me to assess their ability and assess their, you know, their chances or what I feel their um, abilities are in relation to getting in the national team. And it helps too, you have a lot of players getting to play with each other against each other too, and a lot of the close rivals, it's almost a way to scout their close rivals when you have a lot of the Canadian and Mexican players playing together too. Yeah, and I think that's been great, for the, it's certainly great for the Canadian players and for the Mexican players, but I think it's also good for the league. I think it's, it's good to have a league that's not just an American league, but covers you know, a, fair, a fair amount of, of CONCACAF. Um, and then also mixed in there are some of the international players and I think the over, you know, those overseas players also help the league. But um, you know, from my perspective with the national team it's just great that the players are playing week in and week yeah. out rather than have to do stuff on their own for potentially six, eight weeks, two months and then come into a national team camp. It makes a lot, yeah, it makes a lot easier when you go to set up your camp. You're not having to pull from Europe, you know, or Australia. You got all your base core players right here in the states. Yeah, we do. We have, we have got most of them here, and we've got them here playing. So when they do come into camp, you know that they've got that level of match fitness and they've got that level of competitiveness. So you've been on the job about five months now. What are some of the challenges? You had a lot of injuries and surgeries go on. What were some of the challenges in that? Um, you always, you know, those are things that you always have to deal with, and it's, uh, you know, the. the the advantage you've got here is that there's such depth in the pool that you can uh, cater for injuries easier than probably any other country in the world. So uh, I don't think you'll ever hear me complain about the, the depth of the squad. And saying uh, your only big problem is how deep you can go in your roster. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and, and trying to pick the right team in a, in a very competitive group, you know, that's a challenge for me. Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, touch wood or plastic in this case, yeah. that uh, the, uh, the injuries are getting themselves out of the way in 2013, so in 14, 15, and ready 16, to go. Yeah, everybody's ready to go. Now, you did your Algarve Cup, and Portugal won that whole thing. What was that experience like? That was your first tournament as head coach. What was that experience like? Very valuable, extremely valuable. And, it, you know, it kind of highlighted the, the great qualities of this team, not just the their actual soccer ability of the players, but their ability to, to win games and come back when it's crunch time. And that was the first thing that, that stood out to me in the team, is that when this team, whoever's playing, goes out onto the soccer field to represent the USA, you just feel that they're not going to lose games. Yeah. And, and that is a huge, a huge plus for any coach to come in and see. And, you know, I think it's interesting in, in the final of the Algarve that we won 2-0, I don't think we actually played that well in that particular game, but won the game and kept we could the have clean won that game 4-0. No, could have won more yet. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Um, and yet we played Germany a few weeks later and drew three each and played much, much better. So, um, 
you know, it's some interesting challenges there. Yeah. But I, I just think that um, my first impression is that, you know, this is a very strong competitive squad. And, uh, you know, the players are real pre- real professionals. And, and they train at a great high intensity. You don't need to be out there motivating them, you know. If anything, at times you need to kind of hold them back a little bit. And, uh, and any coach will tell you that's, that's a fantastic situation to be in. Well, thank you for your time. My pleasure.